Hi guys, Manny Hanif here. Um, just want to shoot um, a special video. If you're doing e-com, or if you've got an e-com store, if you're thinking of getting into e-com, then um, the first thing I do, which really helps, and you know, really benefits me, is to look at what other people are doing. Um, now it's no secret, e-com has been around for years and years and years, um, even before the internet. You know, um, there was an offline e-com, and the offline e-com was full of catalogs where people bought products. Um, and I'm just going to go through some um, catalogs which I sort of grew up uh, with because, you know, my family used to purchase from these catalogs. And we're going to see how different things have changed. Um, so I'm going to look at the online version of this these particular catalogs. So the first catalog I'm going to type in, this is in the UK is Little Woods, okay? So uh, as you can see, the original catalog looked like this um, in the 1990s. So we had like stuff like, uh, you know, this, the catalogs, uh, watches and everything. Uh, if, I, if I just make this a bit bigger, okay, I can't really zoom in. But you can just see the, the sort of um, style that they used. And always, you know, you can see that in the case of Facebook ads, if you're using photo ads, you know, the image, the image is very important. So in this case, we can see the image in this, um, you know, catalog ad, um, you know, the, the image just sticks out. The dials are easy. Um, you've got the price there, fourteen ninety five. save £8. Um, let me just, online catalog, little words. I'm going to see if I can um, sort of open a PDF catalogue of Little Woods just to show you some um, some examples. Um, if I can't, then that's just just fine. Um, let's just have a look at this. And again, you know, I can't really see the actual uh, image, but in all the catalogues that you know I've I was browsing. For products, it was always set out, you know, like this, uh, you know, with the product, the, the 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 picture, the image of the product was always clear. Here's another one. Uh, this is from the nineteen nineteen uh, nineties. Uh, okay, that's just uh, it's not, not that's not relevant. Let's just see if there's any if I can find a good good example. Watches are very good examples, which <clears throat> I've noticed. Um, Again, you know, I can't really. This is from actually nineteen sixty seven, um, and then this is from the nineteen ninety two. You can see, you know, this this is from nineteen ninety two. This watch section, this catalog had its own watch section. I can remember browsing these catalogs and always wanting this watch because it just looked so, you know, so damn good. <clears throat> and obviously, word of mouth always happens. You know that helps. Uh, I'm just gonna scroll down if I can see any more. Obviously, these link these links are from Pinterest, and yeah, I can s just about enlarge it now. I think. Uh, I'm just gonna sign in to this. Um, it's gonna type in Little Woods catalog now. Woods catalog, and it's gonna see what <coughs> sort of comes up. <coughs> And all in all of these catalog, you should notice that you know the emphasis is always on the product, like like this one. Let's say this was a photo ad on Facebook, okay. And what you can see here is the price. It always ends in you know ninety nine, twenty nine ninety nine, thirty seven ninety nine. You know, um, and it has mono radio cassette recorder, and then it's just got the the price, and it's got the product in huge writing okay if we scroll further down we can see these these were very popular um the cameras back in the 1990s um it had all these all these features you can see this was 10 10 uh, 10 pound 45 11 85 and obviously all of the <coughs> emphasis was placed on how much people can save okay which is very important and also the features, the USP. So in this case, we've got the 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 built-in flash, 
obviously nowadays is everyone's got a mobile phone, but in those days, obviously, when things were skick, you know, things like this was like amazing, you know. Um, I always used to go for the, I always used to look at the expensive uh, products, uh, and then you've got these, got these, uh, got these bikes on here. Let's just see if we can enlarge this and go back and see if we can come up with another example. Because the the catalogs itself are the best, you know, the offline catalogs are the best example I can think of, you know, more than anything else. Um, let's have a look at this camcorder. Let's just see if we can um, enlarge this in some respects. Okay, um, I don't think I can enlarge it any further. But you can see here, a high-priced product, the brand, Sony. Um, we should have a camcorder. Just look at the um, just look at the question, the rhetorical question in the headline. Wish you had, wish you'd had a camcorder? Question mark, and then you can see the price and again the big, big image of the product. Okay, so this is what I really wanted to talk to you about. What existing you know stores, successful stores have been doing for years and years. Um, here's another example. Um, you got this cassette player. What's the what's the main call to action? Well, obviously in those days there was no internet, so people relied on mail order. Um, gives you information on how people could pay um, this in installments because obviously twenty nine ninety nine back then was a lot of money. So people you know used to pay one fifty over twenty weeks. Uh, this is product is is a cassette player. You got the brand, outstanding value, big. Yellow writing um, price twenty nine ninety nine thirty nine ninety nine nineteen ninety nine and you know you can see these people bought this stuff you know people and this is a gift section people bought this stuff as well as you can see um I don't know what these <laughs> microscope gift or different types of gift again um you know the the emphasis wasn't on the price in this case it was just the product itself. And so on, really. So if I scroll down, scroll down further, let's have a look at this gardening stuff. You know, this is what people needed back then. Uh, prices are, are actually in black now. Um, I don't know why, but maybe that's just a marketing thing. Uh, let's go back up. Okay. So now I'm just going to look at the actual Little Woods website and just see how things have changed. So you can see the website here, um, and you know we got different sections on the website itself uh one thing that's really important if is if we just browse the website already we can see you know it's user friendly um it's got a number at the top you know it it's it's like an e-commerce it's a website it's an e-commerce store big brand and if you click on a category like gifts and jewelry already we can see there's promotions being running on it three for two mix and match you got get a diamond bracelet for free, twenty percent back, pre-owned watches, and then obviously if you scroll down, we can see the different types of jewelry that's available. We've got the best sellers. Uh, so these are the best sellers, as you can see. You know the, the very expensive. You know very very expensive from what they, charging people for for this piece of jewelry. And then we've got other stuff as well, uh, not just gifts, we've got personalised jewellery, we've got watches, we've got the beauty, we've got the clearance section as well, where basically um, things are mainly thought of in half price, okay, so if you scroll down to any of these, so if you just click on an item, okay, as you can see, the call to action, add to basket button in green, um, add to wish list. Um, let's actually see if they're tracking this. Oh, okay. It, this is what they actually, you know, Little Woods, a big brand like Little Woods is actually tracking for view content and pixel initialized. So they're actually using Facebook ads. They're actually using Facebook ads um, on this store. So, you know, they're openly using you know Facebook traffic, which is very interesting. Now, if you look at the Facebook page, 
Let's have a look at their Facebook page. First of all, 242,000 likes. Um, let's have a look at the promotions that they're running. So here, there's 20% of all toys. Grab them while you can. They're using a Go, a Google um, link. Okay. If you scroll down, if you're on the lookout for a laptop, then make sure you check out the new Livona Yoga Book touch screen. You can buy this new on eBay for £190. How much are they selling this for on Little Woods? <laughs> £700. Wow. Okay, so they're actually putting a markup on their product as well, which, you know, is pretty interesting. Um, and then they've got the prize draw promotion offers. I can see there's not much engagement on their Facebook page. Um the Fitbit they've got. Um, and again, they're just like literally, you know, using Facebook to promote this stuff. Um, so again, you know, it's really interesting to see what other brands are doing. You know, what other brands, how, I mean, this is a video ad they're using. Create delicious and nutritious smoothies with NutriBlend. Discover the full range right here. So if you look at this link here, £130, £84. And from China, you can just get really cheaper ones. Own it with Little Woods. Okay, so that's the so that's the catch line. Own it with Little Woods. I can see on the actual um, on the video itself, they don't have much engagement. Okay, and this one's not happy. <clears throat> okay, that's pretty interesting, um, guys. Um, it's pretty interesting. Dream watch bundle, and then they've got the laptop offer, and this is Little Woods Live. They've got a lot of um, sort of tabs on here. Um, I have to say, I'm not really sort of impressed by a big brand like this utilizing Facebook traffic. Let's have a look at something else now. Let's have a look at K's, K's catalog. That's another one of the catalogs which is actually called. Is it called K's catalog still? Um, I think it's called JD Williams now. I'm not really sure. Anyway, let's have a look at JD Williams. Um, again, first impressions always is good. Um, as you can see, image, Christmas type of promotion, categories. Okay. Um, Already we know you know what was being selling what's what's gonna be selling here. Um so Christmas, we click the category, they're promoting Christmas offers. Let's have a look at the Facebook page. 101,000 likes, and as you can see they've got a lot of engagement as opposed to the other com the competitor. And let's see how they did they're using bit.ly to tag to bit.ly to promote the links. As you can see, they're doing a combination they're using video ads. This is um, wrap up this warm bonfire, and again, you can just see you know what they're doing. And another company I can think of is Boohoo. Boohoo.com. They've grown over the over the years, multi-million dollar company, over two point three million likes. As you can see. Um, they're also using Bitly. This is interesting. This image here, these emotions, you can sort of pick up online, I believe. Um, let's have a look. Online Facebook emotions. I think I think this is the website that you that you use. I've not really. Okay. Um, click any of the icons. The symbol will be shown. That would copy etc. Control C. Okay, this is um, yeah pretty interesting. So you can probably use these emotions on your um, on your ads, and you can probably use these ones as well for for a bit of a bit more money. Well, I think they charge for this. Copied. We can probably see if this works. How can we test this? But um, yeah, we'll, we'll probably test this later on. 
or in fact okay so um i don't know if this can work because this is not my page um but anyway the point i'm making making is um if we go to these websites like boohoo.com and just click on the link that they give us let's have a look let's have a look at the call to action they're using in this case so if you click on for example this this image here um, they're using pink because obviously the theme is pink and everything is sort of flowing nice and easily um, so and there's another one called next so next is another popular UK e-commerce brand if not you know um, so let's have a look let's just go to jackets let's click on this again call to action green add to bag add to bag size and as you can see most of these descriptions are straight to the point it's like it's a jacket for god's sake you know it's not you're not selling a car you don't have to give a long ass description on your product okay uh let's have a look at the facebook page which is this again engagement isn't good <coughs> <clears throat> um people are, you know look these are photo ads as you can see using a combination of photo ads friday giveaway the new giveaways promotion the, these are probably carousel ads that they're using um this is a video <laughs> they're not utilizing um, they are using Facebook traffic let's have a look if they are um, no it doesn't seem to be it doesn't seem seem that they are using Facebook let's have a look at boohoo let's have a look at boohoo.com it seems to be um, boohoo.com are using facebook traffic so you can see they've got the page view they've got two pixels on this store um so we'll look at uh let's just go to men so let's just go to christmas okay, let's go to christmas and let's... christmas jumpers and let's look at the pixels yeah they're using the page view pixel so if i come to this side here i can see here you're using the view content so event segment event segment um page view page view uh, yeah this seems to be they're using quite a bit of different pixels to track their stores Okay, guys. Um, yeah, just wanted to sort of um, you know go through the fundamental things you know simple e-commerce websites are doing. Um, I've seen time and time again, you know, people with Shopify stores just taking the internet marketing approach for their stores. Ten left, fifteen left. Hurry while stocks last. I mean, are you building a brand or are you building a short-term business? Um, so ask yourself the question. Okay, guys, I'll speak to you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out.